Hey, it's Randy. Here in the garage, I'm bored. Just been itching to, to build up another bike. So what I've got in the stand today is a, uh, I forgot what it is, a Trek 8300. It's this uh, carbon fiber aluminum mix. Uh. So the head tube, the rear triangle is aluminum and the, the main tubes are uh, carbon fiber and the seat post is carbon fiber. So I think I want to build this up in more of a mountain bike configuration with uh, straight handlebars instead of drop bars this time. And first up is to come up with a fork. Now in the previous build, or previous... Previous, previously, I had this nice Chris King headset in here rigged up with a one inch fork. This is an inch and an eighth head tube, but I used a threaded one inch fork and got it to work with this Chris King headset. Anyway, I think I'm going to take this out and replace it with a, a different headset, a threaded headset. Okay, the only fork I have that will work, I believe, is this one here that I'd started to use on another project and had painted it before I realized it wouldn't work on said project. So I think I'll give this a, a rough sanding and a coat of uh, silver paint, see how that works. Okay, definitely going to need some spacers there. Now I think I've got a set of cantilever brakes that I'm going to use. So we'll go ahead and put this uh, cable stop on here. And then fill the rest up with spacers, and let's see, is that going to be, that's going to be close there. Next up is a wheel set, and I thought I would use this black wheel set, but the uh, axle's bent. And I don't want to mess with replacing it. Plus, it's kind of a narrow rim. So instead, we'll just use these silver bolt-on rims. Takes a free wheel. Now, yeah, fine. Just see if I can find a front that somewhat matches. And for tires, uh, these were the first thing that come to mind, just to give the bike a little bit of color. So let me get these mounted up on those rims and then we'll go from there. Okay, you got the tires mounted. Now I need to find a free wheel for this.
just gonna go with this seven speed mega range. Okay, that's not gonna work. Okay, cut, I don't, I'm doing something wrong here. <laughs> Okay, I figured, I think the axle was just in here backwards. Now, I don't know how that happened. I don't think I did it. Okay, there we go. Now the stem and the handlebar set up. Uh, now this is an inch and an eighth threaded fork. So I need to use a quill stem or a quill stem adapter. Um, I don't have a quill stem adapter for an nth and an H steer tube. I do have some stems that'll fit. But I'm not real keen on these really long stems and um, just for fit, I think I need a shorter stem. Now these are old um, mountain bike stems from this era. I like that that has some rise, but that's, I don't know if that's going to be goofy looking. And I'm kind of limited on handlebars. And if you haven't already uh, figured this out, I'm just trying to make do with what I have. I don't know, that would probably ride pretty nice, but I don't know, I think it looks kind of goofy. I don't know, I just don't think I need that much reach. Now I've also got this adjustable stem that's pretty silly looking. <laughs> I almost think this is it. I'm almost liking this better than the other two options. Um, I could cut this off and make my own stem adapter, which I've done in the past. Then I could use a, uh, then I could use a stem like this. I would have to shim it in there. I don't know. 
So the quill stem adapter I have is for an inch fork, so it's too small. Now I could shim this. That's probably pretty sketchy, but then again, that's kind of the way I rolled. Trying to drill this out so I can insert this in there. So we can have that flush mounted. Okay, so here's where we're at now. Um, I found these bars and this salsa stem. Um, as cool as these oil slick bars are, they don't match the, the red but I'm putting them on mostly just for, uh, for fit. If it turns out I really uh, am keen on this bike, then I might uh, get some silver bars. I could paint these, but I kind of hate to. And it just so happens these, uh, these bars already have brake levers and uh, a shifter on them. Well, I'm running out of crank uh, crank set options. Hopefully, uh, one of these three will work. Mm. Yep, that's a nope. I got lucky and had um, some single chain ring bolts. Okay, I just did a test fit. This is gonna have to go on the outside. Start over. Well, I just snapped off one of the bolts. <laughs> I did manage to get the rest of it out of the net. So, see if I can find another bolt. Okay, so we got one that's silver. These are aluminum. I think I just learned my lesson. All right, I got the uh, crank set on there. I guess next up, uh, chain and derailleur. Shifting. Got this uh, Altus seven speed, eight speed derailleur. I don't know, I just bought that a while back just, just to have, and I think we'll use it. I don't think I have anything else other than these derailleurs that have the uh, built in hangers. Chain. Well, I ended up putting on this used chain. I think we may have to settle for um, six speeds. That's just uh, too close. And may rev on the frame there. I guess we'll address the brakes now. And when I was looking earlier, I found this bag of cantilever brakes. Let's see if these will work. I 
don't remember where I got these or what these are off of. Clean these studs up. Now there's only one hole for the spring, so there's no tension adjustment. Okay, another day working on the bike. Um, I'm going to get the front brakes installed, cabled up, cable up the rear derailleur. Then what do we got? Seat, pedals, grips. So um, I think I'll just check back in with you after I get the, the brakes and uh, cabling done. Front brakes done. Brakes, derailleur is all cabled up and working. Now for some pedals. And just as I thought, I've got some that are red. And I think we'll have to go with those. Now for saddle. Possibility. Mm. I think we'll go with this one. Now for grips. I think I'm running low on grips. Well, there's some red ones. Now, if we can just ignore that these are oil slick bars for the time being. Change of plan. Uh, the rear wheel I had on there wasn't centering properly in the rear triangle and I was having to use washers to get it spaced out right and that just bugged me. So, I got this other rim and it's got a free hub, I guess, on it. And I put on this eight speed cassette and this rim seems to sit in there okay and center up. So I'm gonna swap the tube and tire over to that. Got the rear wheel changed out. So um, this set's more centered than the other one did. So like I said, this is an eight speed cassette. So, this is just a seven speed shifter. I went ahead and ordered an eight speed. 
to go with that. And I also ordered uh, some handlebars that are similar to these, only in silver. And day three, working on the bike. The uh, handlebars and shifter came in. So eight speed and silver bars, pretty similar to what what's on there. So let me get these swapped out and then I think it'll be ready to take for a ride. And there we have it with the bars and the shifter changed out. So I think it's uh, ready to ride. Uh, while I'm stopped here in the shade, hydrating, let's go over the bike and uh, see what it is that I actually did. So we started with just the frame, which is the Trek 8300, and like I said, it's a mix of uh, aluminum and carbon fiber. The, uh, the main three tubes are carbon fiber. I believe the bike's from the early to mid 90s. So I put on this fork that I'm not sure if it's a chromoly or not. I think it may be. Wheel set, we got a mismatch wheel set. 26 inch quick release aluminum wheels. This front one's a Richie Vantage Sport. And the rear is a Weinman Safety Line. The tires are Duro Rocky Wolf's 26 by 2.125, I believe. Uh, not ideal, but they have color and that's what I wanted. See, they're pretty aggressive tread and they're noisy on the pavement. As for the drivetrain, this was an old triple chain ring that I just took down to one. I'm not sure what brand it is. I don't know the teeth there. Cheap plastic pedals, as always. In the rear, we got a new Shimano Altus derailleur, an eight-speed cassette. That's shifted by a new 8-speed uh, index thumb shifter. Cheap Amazon handlebars, aluminum. Got these cantilever brakes, I guess no name. I don't know what they are. Front and rear. They're activated by the Diacomp power control brake levers. Some no name grips. We made our own quill stem adapter and got this salsa stem. So the carbon fiber seat posts that came with the bike. For the saddle, it's just this uh, cheap $20 Walmart saddle. I'm not sure how durable it's gonna be, but it's pretty comfortable. It's a Cell Royale. 
Lata. And I think that's everything. I'm really pleased with the way it rides. It shifts good, it seems to fit me good. Uh, the only issue is in the big uh, rear cog, I dropped the chain once. So ideally, I suppose a narrow wide chain ring would be nice. And some less knobby tires if I could find something that would uh, add a little color. But other than that, I'm really liking it. So hopefully that covers everything. Um, any questions, you can always ask them in the comments below. So, as always, thanks for watching. Quitting and a bit needy That's what I like about you